exciting play here from a, ta a tactical and technical standpoint. If you're a young faceoff man, this has got everything for you to learn and get better. And we are underway, and Trevor Baptiste does what he does best. There's a reason he's one of the best. Be the same Junior A program that sent the Buckeyes Logan Schuss, who's one of the greatest goal scorers in, in uh, Ohio State history. So Ohio State continuing to mine north of the border with players from Ontario and British Columbia. And that's something Denver has done at a really successful rate as well. Well, I was saying about pace earlier. Right now, Denver's playing the slowest pace in the country. L long possessions. They're very efficient, though. Uh, and meanwhile, Ohio State is 66th in pace. So expect to see long six-on-six -six possessions. We were told coming into the game, Ohio State not efficient on the offense because they can beat you so many ways. Yeah, you want to make pace a passer, though. You, you, once he gets the goal line extended and you, and you don't like that matchup, you, you've got to force his hand. Ohio State looking for their first face-off win, and the Buckeyes get it. Poked away. Nice job to keep it in play. Look at this, look at this, this is great. Five Denver jerseys, giving Ohio State look everything they can handle. And it's just the first two for two. And I did mention it is senior day, you didn't hear me incorrectly. Ohio State does it on their last non-conference game at home. They had senior day two years ago at the shoe against Denver. And the Buckeyes came out and beat them. And they've got a hot start. Three to find ways to score goals outside of the six on six. They scored earlier on a substitution. This is off a faceoff. I talked about Withers as an offensive threat. He wins it. The green light is on. Carries in. Headman pass. Next thing you know, it's a three on two down below. He did eight, you know. Withers with the box out. It controls it off the draw. He's so physical. Yeah, don't don't call him a fogo because he's not a fit face off get off. He's in the mold of Jeff Snyder, who actually played for the Denver Pioneers and then professionally and with Team Canada. He's a threat. That's the first miss for Ohio State tonight. And after Baptiste started in this opening quarter, and Quint after Trevor Baptiste. Won the opening two face-offs. Jake Withers has come back with three in a row. Yeah, watch the way he stops Baptiste's first move, and then he uses great feet and hips to put himself between Baptiste and the ball. So it's... It was beginning to make a point before Pearson's laser that this is a team that is playing extra motivated. A veteran group, a senior heavy team. It is senior day, a little early than normal. And to have the number one team in the country in your house, that'll bring the, the juices flowing. This is kind of a, a historic rivalry in that these teams started in the Great West and then migrated to the ECAC. They played each other, get there and get a check and, and light them up or fake it and stay on your guy. A couple of times the Denver defense caught in no man's land. And exactly, you go halfway, well, you need to be working with a pair. You, you, the, the defender behind you has got to be on the same page and he's got to rotate up too. You see how as a goalie, they drop their stick down low and you, and you bite the cheese and you go down. And next thing you know, boom. Well, and Ohio State's been shooting low all game. That's exactly right, great point, great point. So Alex Reddy. It re he's allowed six goals, but how many of them have really been his? The face-off battle, two of the best in the country, Trevor Baptiste and Jake Withers, and they've gone punch for punch in this game. Baptiste has won five of the eight, but he hasn't exactly done it easily. You're seeing two guys, prototypical bodies, They've got a variety of moves. They're both stunning. Number one, Denver, now up by six goals. And Quint, we were playing the scenarios coming into this game. I don't think anybody had Ohio State up six goals in the second quarter. You know, the unpredictability of this 2017 season just rolls on. Embrace the chaos. They are ready to go for the second half. Quint Kastnick, Jay Alter with you as we are witnessing a shocker here at the shoe. State wins the faceoff, but a foul called in Denver. We'll start the second half on Denver, just not playing like the number one team in the country. Yeah, you, you got to think that the, the halftime talk from Coach Tierney was one of composure, one of hey, let's find ourselves. But right now, you're getting outworked, out hustled. You're losing the mental game as well. 
Wonder how close Coach Tierney is to call a timeout. Denver just needs something on the offensive end. It's been more than a half hour of game time since Tyler Pace's goal tied this one at one. And Ohio State on an eight to nothing run since. Canizero puts on the brakes, but right there to meet him, Ben Randall. 40 on 40, and right now Randall getting the better of that matchup. And Denver held to one goal in the first half last time. That happened 2007 at North Carolina before head coach Bill Tierney even arrived to Colorado. Wow. Rookie class. A coming out party for Trey LeClaire against the number one team in the country. And he leads the Buckeyes on the season now with 17 goals. And to boot Ohio State wins the faceoff. Quint, you get the impression that Nick Mindel, I remember two years ago when he played for Stony Brook in the America East Finals, in the second half against Albany, covered Lyle Thompson and did a fantastic job. And I remember at that moment, turning to Mike Corey, and I'm like, who is this kid, Ben Randall? Well, here he is, he transferred. He, he's a Columbus, uh, or check that, an Ohio native. It's Denver goal in nearly 40 minutes of game action. Scored with 12.30 to go in the first quarter and just get on the board again in the third. Face off one by Withers, great stop by Reddy. With the shooter, behind the shooter, and they have the perspective of the shooter, you get an extra reaction from the bench. That was the case there for LeClaire's fifth. That, that yeah. diagonal from the that bench angle. to the goal. If a guy lights up a, a corner. Freshman covering Lyle Thompson in the America East Championship game. Love the way he moves. He's 6'3", 210, but he's light on his feet. He's got a great fundamental stance. And he has uh, put himself on the map nationally today. Ball is loose off the faceoff, controlled by the Buckeyes as we enter this fourth and final quarter of regulation. New goalie, you know, far opposite. Or, or say the guy's name. Throw the ball to Jay. Throw don't, the, don't throw it to me. Throw, the, yeah. throw, the, ball to, throw yeah. the ball to Nordy. Throw the ball <laughs> to Darren. you got to use names. Two goals in a matter of ten. Up. And we were down on the field. They do a shooting drill with all players. Defense, long poles. And Mel in warm-ups was showcasing this type of release. Baptiste, never say never, Quint. But nine left in this game. A goal a minute, certainly accomplishable. And it's make it, take it, buy one, get one free with Baptiste. Denver starting to fire on all cylinders. Shot wide there. Showing off their depth in midfield. Shanks, his 71st career goal, a lot of those came at Bellarmine. And the transfer, he's making an impact on Ohio State in his senior year. The other commonality there was a shooter. Cross season, you'd look at this scoreline in the fourth quarter and go, Ohio State 15, Denver 4. But then you remember it's 2017, and this is just expected. What a chaotic year in the non-conference it's been across the country. Everybody's got a shot. I think Ohio State jumps into the conversation after yeah, this no, no, th there's no, there's no dominant team. There's no central figure. And so that opens things up. We've got some teams at the top who learned some lessons. Maybe they found that their identity. Maybe they're going to move some parts around. They still have every, every right to win the Ivy League. Withers and Baptiste still going hard from the faceoff X. And then this year's freshman class is really a prime time initiators, not named Connor Canizero. And in a midfield where they run 10 deep, the midfield's been really quiet offensively for Denver today. Not giving much help to the front line. And Duke is gaining momentum after a slow start. Play back underway as we tick under two minutes left in this game. 
Since 1998, Ohio State is 0-4 against number one ranked teams. This would break that. And a new goalie in for Ohio State. Tom Carey comes off after a terrific performance. 11 saves and Nick Doyle on. Critical goal, the junior 2014 Colorado Player of the Year. Gets Denver the seven, but this game, all Buckeyes. And another face-off win. They did a really nice job on track.